Mary and George had been married for years. They had been known as high school sweethearts and had been together for as long as they could remember. They were crushing on each other for so long that it just seems like a part of their lives to be together. Constantly, and more so recently, they've been looking for ways to spice up their marriage. One particular day, Mary decided to lay out an outfit for George. He came home from work with his suit and his tie and his men's pants and men's shoes that he wore every single day. And he looked at it bored and mundane-like. Mary knew this and felt deep down that this was her chance to not only spruce up her husband's personality, but spruce up everything that they had worked towards, something beautiful, something new, and something special. The outfit that Mary laid out for George was a long, flowing pink nightgown with crystallized beads and sequins around the top and the bottom. It glowed when light struck upon it on certain angles, and it was such a feminine look to have. It was something that Mary didn't even see for herself. She loved women's fashion, but she thought something special this day. What if she dressed up George more feminine than her? What if she gave him the option to live a life that was more girly than even the one that she lived? This began to excite her, and she wondered, would this excite George as well? He stared at the outfit, and he adjusted his tie. Slowly, George unraveled his tie and threw it onto the ground. He unbuttoned his shirt and took it off slowly. He stared at the nightgown and wondered, is this what he truly wanted? Could he truly handle this change? Had he himself been dreaming of this? And would he enjoy it? He slid off his pants and he slid the nightgown over top of him. As the satin caressed over his skin, it felt like home to him. Not only had he found something he'd been missing in himself, but he'd been missing in his marriage. He felt the nightgown against his body and he never felt more beautiful. He looked into the mirror and twirled and touched it and he went over to Mary. How did you know I would enjoy this? I just had an idea, she said. After all their years together, and all the things they knew about each other, Mary began to build an intuition for George, an intuition of what he loved and what he wanted to do. Although he never vocalized wanting to do this, she knew deep down that this was his joy. This was something that would bring him life, and it was time to bring that life back into Mary and George's life. They twirled and they danced as George admired himself in the gown, and then Mary had another idea. Let's add jewelry. They went over to Mary's vanity and they began to go through the jewelry. Necklaces and earrings and all different types of sparkling jewels to match the satin nightgown. Over to the right of the vanity, George saw her makeup. She, without hesitation, reached for the lipstick and began applying it over George's lips. He smiled as he felt even more at home and more beautiful as the night progressed. Never would he have thought in a million years that Mary would feel his intuition and feel his inner thoughts, allowing him to become himself and become the special girl that he had always wanted to be. He began to twirl and dance some more, and she went downstairs to get some champagne. This was a night of celebration. She came back up and toast. They began to drink and have lots of lots of fun, dancing into the early morning. When they woke up, George laid there in the nightgown and looked into Mary. They held each other. They embraced each other. They knew that going forward, nothing would be the same. Their lives had changed forever. This was the beginning of his feminine new destiny. This was the beginning of becoming the girl that he had always dreamed of being. 
As time progressed, they dressed up many, many nights together. They exchanged outfit ideas and hairstyles and even feminine skincare routines to make sure that George stayed supple and beautiful and smooth. This changed the course of their relationship forever. They were able to see each other in a new way, in a new light, in a way that he had always wanted to be seen. It enhanced the beauty of their relationship and who they wanted to be together. This was the beginning of their new destiny, a feminine, girly destiny of transformation, all because Mary took the leap and trusted her intuition and understanding what her husband truly, truly wanted in this life.